Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through factorization. Today, we are going to discuss the factorization of an algebraic expression using the identity x plus a multiplied by x plus b equals x square plus a plus b multiplied by x plus a b. Let's see an algebraic expression x square plus 6x plus 8. It contains three terms, and the middle term is positive. But we cannot use the identity a plus b the whole square equals a square plus 2ab plus b square to factorize it. Why? Let's check it. Here we can write x square as x square and 8 as 2 root of 2, the whole square. That is, a equals x, and b equals 2 root 2. If the middle term 2ab can be written as 2 multiplied by x, multiplied by 2 root 2, then we can apply the identity. a plus b the whole square equals a square plus 2ab plus b square. But here, when the middle term 6x is factorized, we get 6x equals 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by x. That is, we cannot express 6x in terms of a and b. Then, how can it be factorized? Yes, we have an identity that contains three terms, x plus a multiplied by x plus b equals x square plus a plus b multiplied by x plus a b. While comparing the given expression x square plus 6x plus 8 with ihs of the identity, we can write a plus b equals 6 and a b equals 8. So first we have to find the values of a and b. Since a b equals 8, then the possibilities are 1 multiplied by 8 equals 8 and 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8. But the other condition is a plus b equals 6. Using the possible values of a b, we get 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. From this it is clear that the required values of a and b are 2 and 4. Using the identity x plus a multiplied by x plus b equals x square plus a plus b multiplied by x plus a b. We can write x square plus 6x plus 8 equals x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 4. Therefore, the factors are x plus 2 and x plus 4. Let's see another example. Factorize x square minus 9x plus 20. The given expression is x square minus 9x plus 20. We can factorize this expression using the identity x plus a multiplied by x plus b equals x square plus a plus b multiplied by x plus a b. First, we have to find the value of a and b. Here, a b equals 20, then the possibilities are 1 multiplied by 20 is equal to 20, 2 multiplied by 10 is equal to 20, and 4 multiplied by 5 is equal to 20. And we have a plus b equals minus 9. Here the sum is negative, and the product is positive, so a and b are negatives. Using the possible values of a b, we get minus 1 plus minus 20 equals minus 21. minus 2 plus minus 10 equals minus 12. minus 4 plus minus 5 equals minus 9. From this it is clear that the required values of a and b are minus 4 and minus 5. 
Now using the identity x plus a multiplied by x plus b equals x square plus a plus b multiplied by x plus a b. We can write x square minus 9x plus 20 equals x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 5. Therefore the factors are x minus 4 and x minus 5. Next, factorize the expression 5x square plus 15x minus 50. Here, the coefficient of x square is 5. But in the identity, x plus a multiplied by x plus b equals x square plus a plus b multiplied by x plus a b. The coefficient of x square is 1. So we have to make the coefficient of x square as 1 in the given expression by taking 5 as the common factor. That is, 5x square plus 15x minus 50 can be written as 5 multiplied by x square plus 3x minus 10. Now we will factorize x square plus 3x minus 10. Let's factorize x square plus 3x minus 10. We can factorize this expression using the identity x plus a multiplied by x plus b equals x square plus a plus b multiplied by x plus a b. We can write a b equals minus 10. Since a b equals minus 10, then the possibilities are minus 1 multiplied by 10 is equal to minus 10. 1 multiplied by minus 10 is equal to minus 10. Minus 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to minus 10. 5 multiplied by minus 2 is equal to minus 10. And a plus b equals 3. Here, the sum is positive and the product is negative. Using the possible values of a b, we get minus 1 plus 10 is equal to 9. 1 plus minus 10 equals minus 9. Minus 5 plus 2 equals minus 3. 5 plus minus 2 is equal to 3. From this it is clear that the required values of a and b are 5 and minus 2. By using the identity x plus a multiplied by x plus b equals x square plus a plus b multiplied by x plus a b. We can write x square plus 3x minus 10 equals x plus 5 multiplied by x minus 2. Thus we get 5x square plus 15x minus 50 equals 5 multiplied by x plus 5 multiplied by x minus 2. Therefore, the factors are 5 x plus 5 and x minus 2. Let's recall what we discussed today. Factorization of an algebraic expression using the identity x plus a multiplied by x plus b equals x square plus a plus b multiplied by x plus a b. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Factorize. First one, x squared plus 3x plus 2. Second one, 2x squared minus 14x plus 24. And finally, x squared minus 2x minus 24. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.